Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kastler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from Paul Tanzar. He's in Daytona Beach, Florida, and his call sign is KC9FHV. He says, Hi, Dave. I'm an Augie newbie. I'm closing in on sitting for the general exam and getting my shack prepared for HF. I'll give you my standard speech about not spending any significant money until you actually have that CSCE in hand, until after you've passed your test, and uh, then go get all the equipment that you want. So as I live on the fourth or top floor of a newly constructed building that forbids antennas of any kind. Bummer. I have a balcony that luckily is on the outward east facing side of the building toward undeveloped land. It is enclosed by a non-metallic screen and spindly waist-high metallic railing. The space is 13 feet wide, 6 foot deep, and 9 feet high. The deck is cement with rebar in it and the overhead, since I'm on the top floor, is a form of drywall. One is open north and the other is walled. Okay. Several feet above is the steel roof with solar panels. Lovely, because uh, some of those solar panels can uh, emit uh, energy. My question is, what to do for an antenna? Let's take a look. He sends this picture. Okay, this is where he lives, right here. Let's zoom down in on it so we can draw some lines on it. He has this screened-in porch right here. And I'm not sure if it's open over here or not. It may not be. Okay, It's screened in with a non-metallic, but here is his uh, balcony railing, which is metal. And I suspect that these are metal, too. And then he's got a screen here that's not metallic. I don't know what these are here, whether those are metallic or not. But what we've got is this is the only place he can put an antenna. Wouldn't it be nice if he could persuade his apartment owner to allow him to put a little piece of coax up onto the roof and then put up a vertical, a guide vertical. You can just use cement blocks here uh, so you don't put any holes in the roof and <clears throat> guy that thing wonderfully that'd be neat um, I think the chances of that are near zero but we can always hope now what do I think is best in here you could make a small loop here and use the MFJ loop uh, antenna uh, which I just looked at in the last video and it's this right here deluxe high efficiency mag loop tuner now this is pretty specific on what size the loops need to be okay for particular bands but you may be able to uh, perhaps even put in a smaller antenna or like that uh, and feed it with that loop tuner. Now the problem with loops is they tend not to transmit out or back in. They've got holes there. They transmit off the ends. So my suggestion for you is that if we look at a top view, and let me zoom this thing out so we can see what we're looking at here. Okay, this is the top view. Here's the apartment in here. Here's the railing for the balcony, and this is six foot deep, and so on and so forth. Okay, top view, what's called a plan view. I would recommend a mag loop sitting right there. Okay like the MFJ makes mag loops, so do several other people, and Chameleon 
makes nice mag loops. There are a number of manufacturers in CQ magazines that have magnetic loops that they talk about. Uh, some, if you really want to spend money, are automatically tuned and stuff like that. The uh, MFJ can be remotely tuned. So um, if you're in here with your radio, you're okay. Some of the loops that don't have controllers, you've got to be sitting out here with it to tune it. And one of the things to remember is they're very sensitive to temperature. So if the temperature changes from one day to the next, your loop's going to be, you got to go find the resonant frequency or go out and retune it. Now, why do I recommend putting it that way? So here's your balcony with the apartment behind here. The magnetic loop is here. Now, what is the pattern for this loop? Well, it's off the ends. And note that means into your apartment as well. Okay. If you put it this way, you're going to be trying to radiate this way. And it'll go out to the sides and all that. But if you put it this way, you'll get a nice radiation lobe going off that direction. Okay. And you said this is uncluttered uh, to the east. Okay. Maybe you can get some overseas DX or something like that. Okay. Now, the other... Possibility, as I said, is to use that MFJ loop tuner and put up loops and try and make them work. It's too small for a dipole, except for 10 meters or something like that. And you want to try and get on 40. Um, 40 and 20 as a general. And to do that, a loop. Now, MFJ makes a loop that goes 40 to 15 and one that goes something like uh, 30 to 10. This is the one you want. Now, there are other loops that are much more expensive that will tie right into your radio, and as you tune the radio, it'll tune the loop. Now, one thing to note that with a transmit loop like this, um, your waterfall is going to be very narrow. You won't get to see the whole band. These are very high Q devices, meaning they, they really resonate just on one frequency. And it's very hard to get broadband coverage like you'd get with a dipole. So there you have it. Um, that's kind of what I would recommend for you. I know you say in here you don't really like the idea of a loop, but it might be the best thing for you. Look around at the different loop manufacturers. I would suggest giving DX Engineering or Ham Radio Outlet a call and talking over your problem with them and see what they recommend, see what your friends recommend at club meetings. If it is possible to borrow a loop and take it to your house and give it a try, that's the thing you might want to do. Okay, so there you have it. Good luck with your study on your general exam. I hope to see you on the air soon. So there you have it. And uh, if you would like to help uh, support this channel, anyone can do this. Go to decastlercom slash support. Look for a way that works for you. Also, please click subscribe and click the bell. And uh, leave a comment. Uh, click like. Uh, YouTube values engagement and wants to promote YouTubers who have engaged audiences. And no, if you become engaged, it does not mean that you have to marry my channel. Merely engaged is enough. Until we next meet, 73.